Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host, Dr. Armin Simonian. Yes, I do consider myself a pioneer in the specialty practice of pharmacy informatics. But of course, I'm not the only one. Going back a number of decades, there were a group of pharmacists across the country, a small group, who could really see the potential of applying information technology to the medication use process. Now I'm going way back to the 1970s when we were typing everything on a manual typewriter and we started using electronic typewriters that had a memory card with, that was built in. That helped us to save information such as IV labels and print them out as needed. After that, um, in the late 70s and early 80s, we saw the advent of the personal computer. This was big for pharmacy. And uh, Apple started in the 70s and IBM quickly followed with personal computers. So I'm going back to the day when we didn't have uh, any laptops, PCs. Uh, there were no smartphones. There was no internet. It was a totally different world. But um, those personal computers were big for pharmacy. And I think the early adopters were the independent retail pharmacies that figured out that they could do prescription processing on this personal computer and then automatically type out labels on a printer. And that really made operations a lot more efficient, bookkeeping easier, and even uh, things such as billing a lot easier. So uh, we started using computers in pharmacy a lot at that time. In the 1980s, we saw the advent of automated dispensing cabinets. So all of us, those pioneers of pharmacy informatics along the way had to learn about computers, learn about information technology. And then as these new technologies were invented, we had to uh, learn about them and see how they might be applied or implemented at our institutions and then uh, implement those and do all the things that going go along with being a pharmacy informaticist, like building drug databases and eventually interfacing systems together. When we get to the 2000s, uh, everything changed in terms of getting off of paper and going to electronic medical records, electronic health records, where we started seeing um, hospitals completely automated um, with EHRs and uh, smart pumps and ADCs and other technologies that were interfaced with each other, talk to each other. And that brings us to the point where we're at now with um, some interoperability between systems. Of course, there's a still a long way to go and a lot of room for improvement. But um, as I said, there were those early pioneers many decades ago, and I was among them. We started out uh, learning about computers and pharmacy, and eventually this became the specialty practice of pharmacy informatics. What I'd like to do going forward in this uh, channel is start a new series, which I'm calling Pharmacy Informatics Pioneers. And I'd like to contact some of my colleagues who were with me learning about computers at that time and um, early on in the process. And you've heard my story. I've talked about it in early episodes on this channel, my career path and how I ended up uh, eventually in academia teaching pharmacy informatics in pharmacy school. But it might be interesting for everyone to hear the stories of other pharmacy informatics pioneers. So um, stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to start doing those interviews and post new episodes um, in a new series that I'm calling Pharmacy Informatics Pioneers. So um, hope you'll stay with me on that and hope you enjoy the series as I develop that. And in the meantime, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, look after the health of others, and I will start creating those episodes and hope to see you next time. Take care.